What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on a set of Corsa here at Norschleiven in a little online sesh. So we got a Ferrari in front of us. This is probably one of my favorite things to do here in a set out is a Norschleiven, like almost like a real life, like you would be touring it. We are in a BMW M4. Looks like we got a little Ferrari in front of us. I don't think we have to use clutch. Nope, we do not have a clutch because uh, this is a uh, basically SMG transmission. So like I said, am I starting to like Assetto a little more than Forza? Um, Assetto's got some really cool things going for it, except for brakes. We've already just destroyed pretty much my car. A set of Corsa has a lot of cool things that I definitely am starting to love more and more every time I uh, get into the game. And that has to be, I mean, well obviously the cockpit view, the fact that the steering wheel goes 900 degrees, full rotation. But like things like this, the North Sliven, uh tourist track, this is really bright out. That sun is kind of uh, messing with my head. So, like you get the fact that you get to pretend you are in North Schleiven in an online session with some cars and there's other people on the track same time and you can just go back and you pretty much you start off in the pit section like you would in the real North Schleiven. So is it something that I'm definitely enjoying? By far yes. Do I wish I had it on PC? Almost definitely because of all the extra things with all the mods and stuff on PC. I would definitely enjoy it on PC a lot more, but we are doing what we can here on Xbox with it, and uh, definitely have a lot of fun with this game. The physics on the wheel, bar, bar none, probably some of the best physics. The sound effects in the game, the engine sounds and stuff, you know, they've done a lot of work on this game, and I just can't wait to get my PC rig built to uh, do uh, some set of mods and do some of the the good modded drift tracks and everything like that. Oh, I thought we were gonna wreck. So, definitely trying to get my bearings here more in a seto, because it is different than what I'm used to. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun just running cars here at Nuremberg Ring or North Sliving Course and just uh, you know, getting a chance to see what each car can do. Like I raced, raced a GT3 M3 the other day. Oh, and it, I feel like one of those videos where, oh, the wreck on uh, Nuremberg. So, like I said, I raced a GT3 uh, M3 and the handling of it was so much nicer and now I'm realizing uh, the lack there of grip on this uh, M4. It's kind of a stock M4, I guess you could say. But like I said, I do love the fact that in cockpit, the steering wheel does move, you know, exactly mimicking of mine, which is amazing. And it's one of the few games that I know that does it. And I feel like that's probably one of my favorite features of the in-car. And, you know, we got that little heads up display up there. Me, uh, being a BMW technician and working on BMWs during the day. Uh, this uh, interior, pretty dang accurate. Of course, the, the iDrive, the C CID in the top left of the center console would not be just an M logo, but you know, it would be something on the lines of what you have going on. On M cars, I would definitely have the M performance setting. Is this Ferrari waiting for me or did he crash? Because I feel like we're catching up to this Ferrari. And like I said, this is actually probably one of my favorite things to do because it's real world scenarios with real drivers. I think he's just cruising, trying to let me catch up to him. Which is kind of cool because, uh, you know, I don't know where the other four people are on this track because it is a big track. But like I said, am I starting to uh, enjoy Assetto a little bit more uh, other than that frame rate glitch? I think Assetto has a lot 
to bring to the table when it comes to driving feel and wheel feel and stuff like that, which is definitely uh, something I probably should have jumped on the bandwagon a lot sooner. But um, Forza has, you know, always a big spot in my heart being I've been playing Forza since the original Forzas. So, but I would like to do some more stuff on Assetto. Maybe some more, maybe do some time attacks here on North Sliven and uh, just do some cruising on North Sliven and get some people online and just do uh, like we would be at North Sliven, hang out in the pits, talk, chill, and then uh, hit the track when we feel we're ready to hit the track. And the cool thing about it is, well, the one thing you have to remember is when you get to the end, you gotta slow up because otherwise you're gonna go smash straight into a wall because it is barricaded off like it would be at the real North Sliven track. Do I wish Xbox had more cars in it? Of course I do. I wish we Assetto had a car list like Forza, but I feel like what they lack luster and car listing, they gain in other aspects. We just caught up to this man in the Ferrari. We're gonna try and not wreck him because we're gonna try and do this like we would if this was actually North Sliven. So like I said, definitely going to be bringing some more Assetto Corsa to the channel. If you guys want to be a part of it and do some drift lobbies, let me know. I know a lot of people, you guys, who want to do some uh, Assetto tandems and stuff like that. So that is coming here very soon. Oh, no, don't lose it. We're actually catching up to somebody. Don't lose it now. I'm trying to stay smooth. There it is. Rumble strip, smack into the wall. And we just wrecked our M4. Oh, man. Well, just goes to show you that uh, one lapse of uh, concentration sends you right into the wall. So unfortunately we did wreck the car, but uh, drifting in this game is definitely a lot more fun. I wish there was more drift cars. I wish there was uh, more cars in the uh, Xbox version because not a lot of people have, you know, these fully built uh, PC rigs in order to play, you know, uh, a set of course on the PC. I know I do not have one that is capable of playing it completely. So sadly, I uh, cannot. Hopefully I can build a rig here soon that can play it. I feel like I saw a yellow flag and I caught up to him. He must have, he must have ditched his car because uh, he was uh, definitely a lot further ahead than me. These rumble strips are not your friend. And this track is really bumpy. I feel it's not this bumpy in Forza. I could be mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's not this bumpy in Forza. Oh! My bad, dude. Do a quick pass on him. He's probably just gonna try and pass me now. Oh, there it is. He's just running behind me, probably wanting to pass me. And I was supposed to let him go, and I just kind of wrecked myself. He's trying to do it uh, cleanly, but apparently I am a. Uh, Having a little bit of a hard time with this uh, this M4 here. Makes me want to get back in that GT3 that I was having a little bit of fun with. With all the downforce and the grippy race tires. This sun is terrible. This sun glare is just massively bad. And I'm not sure why. So, oh, we have traction control level differently. So, a set of Corsa, if you guys want to see more set of Corsa on the channel, make sure you comment down below. Let me know in the comment section down below, as well as follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which can be found in the description box below, as well as links to the shop where you can get the new hoodies. If you didn't follow me on Instagram, the hoodies are available, as well as channel support decals, and we got to go into pits because that's where uh, I told you you got to be very careful you don't smack into the wall. I feel like these guys are going out again. So why not? Just gonna rip back through. Is he going backwards? Is this man gonna race it backwards? No way. 
Oh man, oh gosh. Um, I don't know what's going on here. But we're having a little bit of a issue between these two guys here on the ring. I'm gonna see how far I can chase these guys down. These guys are gonna gap me though when we get to some of the faster sections for sure. Now my tires are a little bit gripped up. Oh God. This car will bite you. Aceto will bite you if you lose traction. For sure. So, like I said, if you guys want to see more Aceto on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. I think we're going to switch to uh, another car here that might have a little bit more grip. And uh, see what we can do. So, wrong button. We're going to uh, switch it up a little bit. Unless we got some uh, skids going. Get some skids. Set of skids. See if we can hop in. Ooh, we got some E30s. You know we're going to hop in. See if we can't get some uh, E30 skids here in a setup. So once I load in, I will uh, be back with you guys and get some E30 skids. We did a little uh, North Sliving cruising in an M4. Now we're going to be getting sideways in the E30. And uh, maybe bang some doors real quick. I'm going to have a sip of my uh, Yingling Golden Pilsner. Adult beverages. Don't drink and drift. All right. So we got to adjust our tires to get to some Sport 90s. Oh, nope. Hey, okay, there we go. Sport 90s. And then we're good to go. We are rocking some new uh, suede gripped gloves, courtesy of Snap-on. They're not actual racing gloves, but they are uh, suede bottomed, so they are a nice feel on the wheel. So we are going to uh, see if we can uh, maybe bang some doors in this E30. Gotta get the tires warmed up. Oh, that's how we'll smack the wall. Tail tap. So we're gonna run the section that I was running the other day that was actually pretty fun. Bang off red line there. Kick it in. A little bit short on that. Trying to uh, keep the power going, a little left foot brake, too much left foot brake. So drifting in a setup is something I have to get back into fully because my lines are not as smooth as uh, they once were. But that will come with uh, some more time behind the wheel and in the seat here on a setup. So it looks like we're going to try and... Uh, Bang some doors here. Oh boy. He's already got some damage, so. Oh! I didn't want to bang doors like that. That was not good. That was a no bueno move, but. We're gonna try and uh, redeem ourselves on a good, uh, good lead. This way, quick flick back that, little e brake. There we go, we're slowly getting the uh, the feels back. So, we uh, definitely uh, smacked into him from the start, but uh, we're gonna definitely see if we can uh, deem ourselves on this. See if you follow us in here. But that's probably a little bit too much. Too far and he followed me into the grass. So Aceto drifting is definitely not the easiest thing in the world. For all of my wheel users that follow me and drift on Aceto. If you guys got some good... Uh, well, I guess you can't really adjust the wheel characteristics in this game. So I guess it just is what it is, and uh, 
we are set with how we're set. But we're uh, starting to get the feels back. I think we lost that man. So like I said, you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, like thank you guys for all the continuing support here on the channel with these uh, videos coming back every day and watching them. We're gonna try and get one more good chase with this guy and not smack into him to end this video off. Where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, I didn't see where he went. He lost it. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of course. Up. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.